Here comes the Irish ace of WWE. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. Trained by Finn Balor, inherited that same killer instinct. And McDonough's absolutely not here to make friends. He's here just to fight and win. I don't think JD could make a friend even if he tried. Well, if JD's the Irish ace, I guess that makes you the Joker, Saxton. Or maybe that rules card that everyone just throws out. His opponents first, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic warrior, Sheamus! The leader of the Brawling Brutes, I'll tell you, this guy will fight anyone, even his friends. Well, it's a good thing Sheamus doesn't consider you a friend. Still a lot of fights left in the Celtic warrior, that's for sure. A pint and a fight is a good Seamus night. My sources say the Celtic Warrior already has a couple cold ones waiting backstage. The Barrett Barrage has arrived. And it is <clears throat> bad news for anyone in that ring tonight. Stop it, Byron. Just stop. I was tired. I tried. And from Preston, England, weighing in at 246 pounds, the NXT North American Champion, Wade Barrett! Something tells me we're going to have a royal delivery of some bad news. Uh, Wade Barrett has got his game face on. Certainly not thinking like an announcer right now. I have a feeling Wade's looking to remind everyone just how hard he can hit. These superstars have their heads on a swivel for this triple threat match. You ain't kidding because there are three competitors and it's also no disqualification, which means things have the potential to get very chaotic here. Punch right in the head. What a forearm. Big blow could be felt throughout the arena. Snap suplex. Oh, fuck it. Gosh, landing face first. Sheamus toying with it. Will this be enough? Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? It'll take more than that to hold him down. Clubby blows! In a matchup like this, Corey, what is something the competitors need to remember? Well, a major difference in a triple threat is that you can lose a match without being part of the decision. Victory can be stolen from your hands in an instant. And that's why in this match, a competitor must be cunning, calculated, and move with silent speed. Setting up for something here. Oh, put down face first. Two 
two tells me the end is not near. He climbs into the ring. Japanese arm drag. Oh, he got him. Is he going to lock this in? He breaks up the hole. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. Choke bomb. Is it enough? Vicious right forearm. And that's a bold attack on Sheamus. And Barrett proving he's as locked in as ever there. Line hits its mark. Carefully measured knee drop. Returning to the ring now. Oh, God. Neck breaker. Great reaction from JD. Close line to the back of the neck. Continuing to attack the neck across the top rope. And look at front. A back suplex. Sharp clothesline. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, it is aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. Big knee to the midsection. Handle. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Oof. Well measured. Double stop. Back elbow. See, did you see that? Expect victory yet. Uh oh. Thunderous power bomb. He is just reeling from that offense. Hanging tough as this match progresses. No easy task in a triple threat match. He's heading back to the ring. Waist lock applied, but their opponent manages to fight out with a series of punches. Hooked up. Oh, shit breaker. <laughs> Gotta find a way to get out of this. Oh, across the throat. And will this be it? He narrowly avoids the count. And frustration might be starting to set in. DDT! Into the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. Jameis setting up. Irish curse delivery is that time. Irish curse backbreaker. And by Sheamus. And he goes for the pin. And the count's broken. Keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. Hooked up. And DDT. And he's taking this to the outside now. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. Those are folding chairs, but they can also fold you in half. What a punch. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. Double leg takedown. Crushing double stomp. Went back into the ring. Just as hard as his fist. He's got him scouted. All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. Oh, my! Dinucci has had this. And more hits up there can leave you dazed. He's 
men have shown no indication. He may get the three count right here. I think so. Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. And you got to think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Power with a sidewalk slam. And this has got to be it. And he breaks up the pin, and the match continues. And Barrett isn't giving him any more breathing room now. This situation is not where JD wanted to be. Being carried around with ease. Face first. Bicycle knee strike. Ouch. Moves outside. What's the plan here? He is looking to unload on his opponent with that kendo stick. Boom. Oh, cracking the kendo stick across the head. Spinning sidewalk slam. A bit of provocation from Barrett. Outside the ring now. He has no need to rush. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. He's thinking a steel chair is just what he needs to wreak some havoc here. He right to the midsection. Setting them up for the... Short clothesline line hits its mark. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. And he tosses him back in now. And now gets tossed into the ring. No clue what he hopes to find down there. Shades of the OEC dub as a candlestick is introduced to the proceedings. That looks bad. Ray's face is making me weak in my stomach. And that was a precisely measured attack. Wade Barrett is really showing his confidence. Close line in the corner. He steps foot in the ring again. Turning the tables. Oh, look at this. And misses on the springboard. Just like that, Barrett gets pounced on. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Kendo in hand. That means he's hardcore. He'll take him all. Ooh. Haymaker connects. of victory coming out on top against two very capable, very prepared competitors. There's a reason this is called a triple threat match, gentlemen, and these three